Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to download the source code of the RSIM simulator and how to make it ready to run via MATLAB. So first of all, open a tab on one of your web browsers. Then go to this address. It's a GitLab repository, gitlab.com slash darsim slash src once the tab is loaded please go to this download button select it and download the zip version of the package once you have it choose a folder any folder in your computer it really does not does it does not matter where and save it to the desired location then open the folder you will see that the name of the folder is src-master you will have to rename this folder so please unzip this folder with any means software or by default in your operating system please unzip the folder now what I want you to do is to create another folder the name of this folder should be called darsim with capital d a r s and small letter i darsim this is case sensitive so it has to be named this way then rename the src master folder that you just unzipped to small letters src then move this folder inside the darsim folder that you just created so at the end if you go inside the src folder which is the source code of darsim simulator the path should be something with the starting and any drive in your computer ending with darsim then src this is more or less the same in any operating system that you might be using now please run matlab in your computer Please note that in order to use Darsim source code simulator, your MATLAB has to be at least with the version 2016B. Now the, the newer version is obviously fine, but the older version might have some compatibility issue with some built-in functions in the older version of MATLAB that has been changed. Now the next step for you is to go to the path of the folder that you created this src folder in your matlab so what you could do you could easily just copy paste the path of this address and paste it here and press enter now you are inside the src folder make sure that whenever you want to run the darsim simulator you want to use the darsim simulator you are inside this path your MATLAB should be on the current directory of SRC and in the folder tree of MATLAB you should be able to see the location all the folders and the files which is the part of the source code of Darsim simulator the next step is to add all the files classes and functions of this SRC Darsim simulator inside the search path list of your MATLAB now in order to do that you go and click on set path and you choose add with subfolders then it will automatically open on the current directory of MATLAB if it's not please go and browse and go to the address of src folder once you are inside src folder exactly like this you choose select folder now all the functions and all the files inside this RC folder and also the subdirectories are now as the search path of MATLAB. This helps MATLAB to call the functions properly whenever you're running the simulator and press save. Now, your MATLAB and your DARSIM simulator is ready and you can utilize it. And I will, in the next videos, I will explain how you can run an example of a test case and how you can visual the results visualize the results just one thing that i wanted to mention is that it helps it and makes it easier 
for future opening of MATLAB that you don't have to redirect every time to the path of this directory SRC to go to your MATLAB at least temporarily go to the uh, general section of your preferences in your MATLAB and choose a default location that every time MATLAB is opening is opening inside that directory so I will go and choose the position of this SRC folder that I just unzipped and created and make this the default opening path for MATLAB now if I press OK and close MATLAB every time that I open MATLAB it will by default open itself in the directory of SRC this will make it easier thank you for listening and within the next videos I will explain how you can run the test cases what kind of input files we need how to change some settings in the input files and how you can visualize the result of the test cases thank you and goodbye